Hey everyone. So along with the base ML.NET package being updated to 2.0, the tools for ML.NET have also been updated. And in this video, we're going to go into what's new in the ML.NET CLI. So I'm here in NuGet and I did a search for ML.NET. And if you recall, the original CLI was just called ML.NET and this is it right here. But as you can tell, last updated a couple of years ago and go a little bit down, there's some new ones here and they're broken up by operating system and core architecture here. So we got Windows, Linux, and Mac OS is 64-bit, but there's also a ARM version for Mac OS. And I believe the reason for the split is just the, the, the main ML.NET version here, which is just got too big to be a single .NET tool, so they've broken it out this way. All right, so let's go to the terminal here. And uh, real quick, if you're not sure which version you currently have installed because it's probably been a while since you messed with it. You can always do .NET tool list to list out the tools that you have installed and it's probably going to be a global install. So I already have uh, the newer ones installed here and I think I think 16.14.1 is the latest one right now but uh, we'll find out. And so if you do have the old version or just want to start straight from scratch you can do .NET tool uninstall mlnet Global, if, if you have the original ML.NET CLI installed, uh, otherwise you can do the name that you saw when you did the list. And if you want to make sure you, you have the latest update, you do .NET tool update, and then I'll do ML.NET win x64, it be global, so it's going to check see if there's any updates to what we already have. And I think I have the latest one here. Oh, so you just reinstalled it anyway, even though I think I did have the latest. Oh, that's okay. All right, so that's one thing with the new name changes there. All right, so if we just do mlnet, it'll give us the usage and all the commands. See, there's a couple of new commands here. So we have the train command and then the forecasting command. First, we'll focus on the forecasting, which is a new scenario that was added. And this is for a time series forecasting. And we see we have some required options here. So data sets and the label column is probably what you have seen from the other scenarios. But then there's the horizon and then time column items. Uh, the horizon, if we come down here, it is the how many periods forward you would like to forecast or basically how many values uh, in the future that you want to be forecasted. And then the time call is just the date time column uh, from the data that you want to use uh, pretty much as the uh, the time from the time series. All right, so we'll clear this if I can... and let's run it real quick. We want to forecasting the data set is going to be some wind generation data. And I'll link this data set in the description if you want to play with it yourself. Uh, I'll do three items in the future and then label column. And if you're not sure, this can be the, either the name of the column, if it has a header, or it can also be the index of the column. So it's just going to be the second item in the data set. And then the time column is going to be the first item in the data set. And after the sake of time, I'll set the train time to 10 seconds. There we go. And just like uh, the other scenarios, it just goes through a bunch of different iterations of models and it shows you which ones uh, are the top five by root mean squared error. And there we go. And we see that an MB config has been added. And I think it might be a little bit of a typo here with the classification here. Uh, so. Uh, if you want to fix it, I think that might be something that uh, can be changed on GitHub as a contribution. And so let's go back to the main commands here. So we have the train command, and that is uh, something you can use to train in, with a MB config file. And so uh, let's look at the sample classification. So we ha have that MB config in here. So we do mlnet train and actually what's there's one required argument here so there's a, a single required option here is the training config uh, so we do uh, let's clear this real quick mlnet train and do training config we do sample classification mb config I think I forgot to go into that folder first. We're good. So, uh, 
specification. There we go. So it's training the same as it did before. We had 10 seconds. All right. And so what we can do, cool thing about using the MV config is that we can actually go into it and, and have a look at it. When you use code, uh, take a peek at it here. All right. Make it easier. I'll say it's JSON and bump it up a bit. There we go. So scenario is forecasting. There's our file path for our data. And let's see, and run history. So I'm gonna go all the way down actually. Uh, training options. So this is what I wanna look at here. Uh, Automatic metric, root mean squared, error, time column, label column, we have those defined. Let's change the training time to five. And you can probably see what's going on here. So if we do this again, now have five seconds instead of the 10. So it's an easy way to kind of quickly iterate uh, on some options uh, with the ML.NET uh, CLI here. All right, uh, so those are the kind of the biggest things that have changed in the ML.NET CLI. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.